dear students assalamu alaikum today i am going to start the second unit from max second that is pythagoras theorem before discussing the pythagoras theorem first we should know about the similarity and right angled triangle that means what is the similarity in right angle right angled triangle similarity and right angled triangle theorem in a right angled triangle if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and to each other first we should know the meaning of this theorem then we will prove it if this is a right angled triangle abc is a right angled triangle in which a angle b is 90 degree if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse in a right angled triangle the two triangle formed that means adb this triangle and bdc this triangle the two triangle formed are similar to the original triangle that means this triangle adb and this triangle bdc both are similar to triangle abc and they are also similar to each other that means all the three triangles are similar now when you are going to write the theorem you should follow the different steps first write what is given then do the what we have to prove write it then if there is any construction write construction then after this write the proof of the theorem now how to identify what is given first you should read carefully the first sentence which is antecedent it is given and the consequent sentence after then that will be you have to prove now look in this sentence in a right angled triangle that means it is given the given triangle abc is a right angled triangle and angle b is 90 degree if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse if this is the antecedent sentence if altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse this is also given segment bd is perpendicular to hypotenuse ac bd is perpendicular to hypotenuse ac this is also given first right given what is given in triangle abc angle b is or angle abc is 90 degree and bd segment bd is perpendicular to hypotenuse ac this is hypotenuse this is the perpendicular segment write these two things which are given now what we have to prove the consequent sentence after then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and to each other and both are similar to each other also this we have to prove that means to prove right to prove adb this triangle is similar to original triangle abc second one this triangle bdc is also similar to abc and third one we have to show these two are also similar triangle adb is similar to triangle bdc this we have to prove i have written already here first right given then what we have to prove right here now then proof how to prove use the similarity now in this right angle the triangle this is the perpendicular drawn to the hypotenuse because of which the triangle is divided into two triangle which are also right angled triangle now take do take two triangles first one adb this triangle and abc this triangle angle dab i am reading this angle angle a angle dab is congruent to angle bac in the larger triangle this angle is common to both the triangles once again listen angle dab this angle 
is congruent to the angle BAC. This angle is BAC in the larger triangle. That means angle A is congruent to angle A, which is common to both the triangles. Reason. Second one. Angle ADB, this angle is 90 degree, is congruent to angle ABC. Once again, listen. ADB, this angle is congruent to angle ABC. Reason, each angle, right angle. Then, two angles of the smaller triangle ADB are congruent to two corresponding angles of the larger triangle. Therefore, according to AA test, these two triangles are similar. So, right here, triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC according to AA test. Equation number one, first. Second one, now take these two triangles, this BDC, this triangle and the original one ABC. Now, we have to show two angles, corresponding angles are congruent. First, take angle C. B, C, D. This angle. B, C, D. This angle is congruent to A, C, B. This is the larger triangle. This is angle A, C, B. A, C, B. This angle is congruent to B, C, D. This is the smaller triangle. This angle B, C, D is congruent to angle A, C, B. Common to both the triangles. Second one, angle BDC, this angle is 90 degree. BDC, this angle is congruent to angle ABC, each angle, right angle. Again, according to AA test, this triangle BDC and triangle original ABC are congruent, sorry, similar, right here. BDC is similar to ABC from second. What is first? This triangle is similar to ABC. Second one, this triangle BDC is also similar to ABC. From first and second, we can say that both these triangles are similar. Therefore, from first and second, triangle ADB is similar to triangle BDC. Equation number three. From first, second, third, we can say that all the three triangles are similar. That means, ADB is similar to BDC is similar to ABC. In this way, we can prove this theorem. Now, I am going to explain theorem of geometric mean. Now, what is theorem of geometric mean? Listen. In a right angle the triangle, the perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse from the opposite vertex is the geometric mean of the segments in which the hypotenuse is divided. First, understand the meaning of this sentence. In a right angle the triangle, perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse, perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse is the geometric mean of the segment in which the hypotenuse is divided. That means in this triangle, right angle the triangle, angle Q is 90 degree, QS is the perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse. Because of this, the hypotenuse is divided into two segments, PS and SR. This perpendicular segment, this segment QS is the geometric mean of these two segments, means QS square is equal to PS into SR. Now we have to write the proof. First given, what is given? Triangle PQR is a right angled triangle in which angle Q is 90 degree. Segment QS is a perpendicular to the hypotenuse PR. This is given. We have to prove QS square is equal to PS into SR. Now, proof. We know similarity in right angled triangles. If a perpendicular segment is drawn to the hypotenuse, the right angle triangle is divided into two right angle triangles which are similar to each other. So, use this theorem. Therefore, 
QSR, this triangle is similar to PSQ. These two triangles are similar. Reason according to similarity in right angled triangles. Once again, listen. Triangle QSR, this triangle is similar to triangle PSQ. Reason similarity in right angled triangles. Now, as these two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides should be in proportion. Therefore, QS upon PS. QS upon PS. This ratio, these are the corresponding sides. Ratio of these two sides, QS upon PS. QS upon PS is equal to SR upon SQ. These are the corresponding side, SR and SQ. Ratio of QS upon PS, this is equal to SR upon SQ, right here. All the three sides are in proportion. Here, I have written only two, which are required. QS upon PS is equal to SR upon SQ. These two ratios are equal. As these two triangles are similar, the corresponding sides are in proportion. Now, QS upon PS, I have written as it is, is equal to SR. SQ means QS. Only I have interchanged. SQ means QS. So SR upon QS. SR upon QS. Now do the cross multiplication. QS into QS. QS square. Now second multiplication. PS into SR. PS into SR. That means QS square is equal to PS into SR. Means QS is the geometric mean of these two segments PS and SR. In this way, the theorem of geometric mean property is proved. Now, I am going to prove Pythagoras theorem. First, Listen the statement. Pythagoras theorem. In a right angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of remaining two sides. This is the statement of Pythagoras theorem. Now, when you are going to write the theorem, again you have to follow the steps. First, you have to write what is given. Then you have to write what you have to prove. Then Write the construction if it is there and then you have to write the proof. First, we, we should write what is given. In a right angle, the triangle, this is given. That means triangle ABC is a right angle, the triangle in which angle ABC is equal to 90 degree. This is given. What is given? In triangle ABC, angle ABC is 90 degree. This is given. What we have to prove? Read the sentence again. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of remaining two sides. This is the hypotenuse. These are the two remaining sides. The square of the hypotenuse, AC square, is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. That means AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This we have to prove. Once again, listen. What we have to put here? AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Right here, we have to prove. Now, construction. Draw segment BD perpendicular to hypotenuse AC. BD segment, this segment is perpendicular to hypotenuse AC. This is the construction. Now, proof. As we have already studied, similarity in right angled triangle all these three triangles are similar to each other. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. So write first. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. Triangle ABC is similar to this triangle ADB. Reason? Similarity in right angled triangles. Now as these two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides should be in proportion. Therefore, AB upon AD, take the ratio of corresponding sides. AB and AD are corresponding sides. 
सो ए बी अपॉन ए डी ए बी अपॉन ए डी इज इक्वल टू ए सी अपॉन ए बी फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड सो करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड हियर विल बी ए बी सो ए सी अपॉन ए बी ए सी अपॉन ए बी दीज टू रेशोज आर इक्वल लिसन अगेन ए बी अपॉन ए डी इज इक्वल टू ए सी अपॉन ए बी करस्पॉन्डिंग साइड ऑफ सिमिलर ट्राइंगल्स रीजन नाउ डू द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन ए बी इंटू ए बी ए बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए डी इंटू ए सी राइट हियर नेम हैज फर्स्ट नेक्स्ट सिमिलरली दिस ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज ऑल्सो सिमिलर टू दिस स्मॉलर ट्राइंगल बी डी सी सो राइट अगेन ए बी सी दिस ट्राइंगल इज अ सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल बी डी सी आई हैव रिटर्न ऑलरेडी हेयर सिमिलरिटी इन राइट एंगल्ड ट्राइंगल्स दैर फॉर दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स आर सिमिलर एज दे आर सिमिलर दैट रेस्पॉन्डिंग साइड शुड बी शुड बी इन प्रपोर्शन सो बी सी अपॉन डी सी बी सी अपॉन डी सी इज इक्वल टू अगेन ए सी अपॉन बी सी बी सी अपॉन डी सी रेस्पॉन्डिंग साइड रेश ऑफ रेस्पॉन्डिंग साइड बी सी अपॉन डी सी इज इक्वल टू ए सी अपॉन बी सी सो डू द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन अगेन बी सी इंटू बी सी बी सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू डी सी इंटू ए सी डी सी इंटू ए सी इक्वेशन नंबर सेकेंड नाउ एड इक्वेशन first and second this is the equation number 1 ab square equal to ad into ac and this is the equation second bc square equal to dc into ac add these two add the left side and to the left side ab square plus bc square ab square plus bc square is equal to now add the right hand side a doing ad into ac ad into ac plus dc into ac dc into ac now is this as it is if you observe ac ac is common to both the terms so take ac ac common we have taken ac common here ad will remain right ad plus as it is as ac is taken common dc will remain right here dc we have taken common ac what will remain ad and dc so plus sign as it is ad plus dc if you observe in the figure ad plus dc is nothing but ac if you add ad plus dc you will get ac so instead of writing ad plus dc we can write ac because ad plus dc is equal to ac this the ac which we have taken common write it as it is into ad plus dc means ac ac into ac ac square write the left hand side as it is ab square Plus BC square is equal to AC square. That means square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. In this way, we can prove Pythagoras theorem.